Uh, tip number one is the biggest. Say it, man. <laughs> Sacrifice your ego. Mm. Now, here's the cool thing. We all got egos. Yep. And they're all huge. And we think pretty well of ourselves. We do. Well, Most of us. that's okay. However, in order to get along with the boss, you're going to take some direction. And they are not necessarily always going to agree with you. Correct. So take your ego, put it aside. And I got a trick I do this with. Go. Do I get a check? Uh-huh. <laughs> do they pay me? So no. Oh, I can drive. I can pay mortgage notes. I can go out to eat with my family. Mm. I can go on vacation. I can work. Hmm. Whose company is this? Right. It's not mine. Right. I'm servicing you, but this is your company. Funny story, right? Okay. So, uh, you know, me and one of our other buddies is a huge <laughs> uh, wrestling fan. Yes, yes. WWE. Yes, whatever. yes. So there's, there's a new wrestling promotion that just started popping off. Okay. And a lot of the big WWE stars are really trying to leave. Okay. Okay, so one guy... He his contract was up in April. Okay. And he knew he wanted to leave sometime around late last year. Got right? it. Right. So he was like, all right, I can either do this the hard way or I can just serve out my contract because that's what I agreed to. Right. And so he chose to serve out his contract. Now okay. he did the reason he was leaving is because he didn't agree with the creative direction that he was being given. Okay. He knew he could do better. All right. And he he put in his two cents with the bosses and, and the higher ups and the owner, which would be Vince McMahon. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And at the end of it, he's basically like, "Okay, cool. You know what?" And he said it multiple times. He was like, "Man, I tried my best when I when my voice was not being heard." It's like, you know, I'm professional. Absolutely. And so it's like, you pay this, me, I do my job. It, it, you, you're the one that's writing my checks. Yep. If this is what you want in your television yep. airwaves, I'll give it my best. Right. And he rolled on. So I thought that's an excellent point <laughs> that's, of that's, putting yeah. your ego to the side for a bit. Pick up your check. If your name isn't on the building, pick up your check ding, and ding. go home and enjoy your family. Ding, ding. <laughs> and, and the ego thing, and, and here's the thing. I, to fight you on ego, mm -hmm. in other words, Brian, you, you, you've got the set of facts. I've got my set of facts. Mm -hmm. And we can start off being well-meaning, right. focusing on the issue. But as soon as the ego kicks in, Forget the issue. Now nah, it's personal. It's personal. And that does not further the company. If I find two people in ego war, I'm like, is your job is your job worth it? I I I have a theory and I, I share this with, with I've shared this with a couple of my friends when we have these existential conversations with mm -hmm. them. But that's our biggest battle every day. Every day it is. All right. I mean it goes in everything from your relationships yes. to your spiritual life to everything. Like Pride. Yeah. Number one. We thing. have to yes. we have to fight it every day. And yes. it's the toughest thing to yes. overcome. Yeah. Because and for you know, my faith people out there, you need that divine help on this one. Yeah. Cause we all have it. <laughs> it's at the source of every you know, even everything. personal personal disagreements at home. My wife will say, blah, blah, blah. I'll be like, I don't want her to be right. Now, I'm mm -hmm. not thinking that analytically at that point. Right. But she's been right like six times a day. I believe that's your quota. So I need to get my two cents in. Which is <laughs> it's not rational. No. <laughs> it's not even intelligent. No. Because if you're trying to get to the right answer, she can be right eight times in a row. Who, that's it. Who cares? But yeah. somewhere that ego pops, pops up. In. And, you know, all my faith folks up there, you know who said, I will be. And mm. they aspired to be something bigger than they were. And that was all pride. Yeah. And uh, we know how that turned out. So, yeah, ego got to go.